Welcome back to Risk and Reward Part 2, where we find out if it's better to play safe or risk it all. First shot and it's the risk ball, and of course I'm using the driver. This ended up being the most perfect drive. There's out of bounds to the right and left is unfindable. It's now time for the reward ball, and I've gone for the 2 iron because that's the safest club of the tee for me. In total, there's a 95 yard gap between my risk and reward ball. Second shot and I've laid up with the 4 iron. I couldn't have hit this any better. Second shot of the wrist ball and I've chunked it. It just goes to show you, both balls are practically in the same position. Third shot with the safe ball and it's on the perfect line, just rolled on too far. Eagle chance with the wrist ball. That's given me a great look for birdie. Can I make birdie with the reward ball? It's a great roll, I've just read it wrong. And that's a tap in for par. Surely I made this for birdie. And I've pushed it. I should have made that. Both balls came up with the same outcome. Guys, what's next? 